Okay, fighthype.com. Sean Patel. Here with one of the best prospects in all of boxing, Tiafimo Lopez. Yes, sir. Okay, Tio, uh, you, you got a big knockout over the weekend on ESPN. Mm -hmm. Then you did the Fortnite dance. Did, yeah. you, did you plan that? Yeah, I planned all that. I planned uh, everything that I said I, that I was going to do, I did. You know, I was saying it through the press conference, everything. I was saying that I was going to steal the show. It's the takeover. I'm going to go for the knockout, get the knockout. You know, I didn't think it was going to happen that quick, but it is what it is. Um, it comes, you know, boxing. That's how boxing is. You never know what's going to happen. What kind of feedback did you get from the fans? Are they trying to um, love it or were they trying to make you're it? You're going to have the lovers, you're going to have the haters. <laughs> you're going to have a lot of haters and you're going to have lovers. It's part of the boxing. It's part of the sport. Um, a lot of people, I don't understand this, but... They're saying that they, he took a dive, or they're saying that it was a fake knockout, and this and that. Honestly, I don't believe any of that, because uh, I was the one there. I hit him hard, and I felt the shot. And I actually, if you look at the video, I pulled back for a second to see his reaction. I was like, ooh, that was a hard shot. I want to see how he reacts to it. And he reacted the way it was. It's a late reaction. It's behind the ear. You know, it wasn't no rabbit, pun rabbit punch. You know, um, it's just the way he was angled at that moment. So it looks like that. And the way they have the angled and everything. But... It is what it is. At the end of the day, I'm still relevant. You know, they're gonna talk no matter what. Um, you guys look at it as as you want to, um, and that's about it. It's boxing. Uh, I'm here to knock everybody out, talk my smack, back it up, and entertain the crowd. You you said it was like the first hard shot that you. Yeah, the first. That was the first power shot that I put out there. Um, I think what scared them first though was the body shot. I went for it. And then after that, I changed the level, and that's when I came up top. You gotta learn how to change levels. Now, I gotta admit, I, I've even underrated you a little bit. No, it's okay. Go, and then going back and watching tape and really studying, and said, wow, this kid is right there with the top prospects. Do you think you've been underrated uh, at all as a prospect? Absolutely, my whole career. Uh, my whole amateur career, everything, um, I've been underrated. I feel like I surpassed all of them. I just don't say nothing. I let you guys, uh, I let I let the fans decide who's the top of the food chain. Um, my goal is not to become the best prospect in the world. Um, <laughs> my, my goal is to be the best boxer in the world. You know, everybody has uh, these up, up upcomers. They have their mindset on that. I don't, honestly. Uh, so I don't really care. It's going to show. People have to see Teofimo more. People have to see Teofimo Lopez in a challenge, thinking that it's a challenge. But when I go out there and make it look easy, what else are they going to say? They're always going to talk. And um, But I'm just uh, on a different level. I really think I surpassed everybody that you guys want to compare me to. Um, I'm not on that level. I'm on another level. Now, I, you know, I do want to contrast that because actually uh, some big publications had you ranked two or three or even... Absolutely. One. Yeah. And one, you some had them one, and then top ranks matchmakers, the best in the business. They say they, they're really high on you. Yeah. Why do you think uh, top ranks so high on you? Um, it speaks for itself. I cause I know how to talk to the crowd. I know how to entertain. My skill level is just different. Um, so developed at a young age. I'm only 20 years old with nine fights. Now, now, nine professional fights. Um, you can see how well, how well I carry myself. My, my style, I'm just so mature when I'm in there. So that all shows right there, it's a lot of money involved, you know? I'm gonna make a lot of money. <laughs> and that's what it is, and, and it shows that I'm ready for these type of big steps that they're gonna have for me. I'm fighting again July 14th as a co-main event. My first co-main, it'll be my 10th fight. It'll be on live ESPN and New Orleans. Do you know Orleans. who the main event is? Um, I do know who the main, it's uh, Progregus. Progress. Yeah. Progress. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I don't know his I don't know his name like that, but uh yeah the one forty pound uh, contender. Okay. He'll be the main event at, in his hometown. Okay, and yeah. And then, uh, you know, also, now you're at 135 pounds. Um, I I've talked to, to Devin Haney before, just like you, and a uh, great young... No, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, want, I, I wish nothing but the best for all those cats. All of them. You know, um, at the end of the day, you, we, all, we do have a great generation coming up in boxing. It's the future's looking bright for boxing again. Again. Now... I agree. Yeah, and it's true. You know, I'm not bashing them. It's just when we say certain things about them, it's the truth. And they're going to take it as is because nobody likes the truth because it hurts. So um, me and my father, we talk our smack. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, I do back it up. Now, I believe in that. Now, before talking about like a, a big fight with Devin, actually, now I remember. Uh, ben, we was, David Benavides, we just saw him in the gym. Yeah. Youngest world champ at 21. Mm -hmm. Do you think you could be world champion at 20 or 20? Well, you're 20 right now. Do you I'm think 20. He, he, he became world champion at 20. Right. You know, um, so big congrats on that. 
you know, um, me, you know, I'm about to be, I'm about to be 21 in July, so that's two months from now. Mm -hmm. So I don't see myself being champion right now. Right. At 20 years old, it's already almost over. But I do see myself becoming world champion before I am 22 years old. So you're looking at by the end of 2018 or the beginning of 2019. And that would be at 135? 135. That's my main goal. My main goal is to get the 135 belt or belts and then move up to 140.